right, kindergarten. This week in math, we are going to be talking about the same number, less than, or greater than. So we're going to start off with a video to introduce it. Just came home from a trip. He counts as he unpacks. He has one more pair of pants than he has shirts. George forgot a shirt. Now he has the same number of shirts and pants. In this lesson, you will use one-to-one -one correspondence to compare sets with the same number, one more, and one fewer. Isabella and Will are going to play tennis. Isabella has two tennis balls. Will has the same number of tennis balls. How many tennis balls does Will have? Use cubes to show Will tennis balls. Each cube stands for one tennis ball. Drag cubes to the five frame. Place a cube below each tennis ball to show the same number of tennis balls. Click done when you're finished. All right, he has two tennis, or she has two tennis balls. And we need to drag a cube for each tennis ball. All right, there's one, and there's a match. I think we're finished. That's right. You use two cubes to show two tennis balls. Isabella has two tennis balls. One, two. Will has the same number of tennis balls. The model shows two. One, Two. Will has two tennis balls. Isabella and Will have the same number of tennis balls. They match. One, two. Ryan is also playing tennis. He has one more tennis ball than Isabella. How many tennis balls does Ryan have? Use cubes to model Ryan's tennis balls. Each cube will stand for one tennis ball. Drag the cubes. Place a cube below each tennis ball. Then, place one more cube in Ryan's frame. Click done when you are finished. All right, there's one, there's one. So that is the same. And then Ryan has one more. That's right. Three cubes show one more than two tennis balls. Isabella has two tennis balls. One, two. Ryan has one more. The model shows three. One, two, three. Ryan has three tennis balls. Three is one more than two. Let's compare the number of tennis balls Ryan has to the number of tennis balls Will has. Click to count Ryan's tennis balls. One, two, three. Ryan has three tennis balls. Click to count Will's tennis balls. One, two. Will has two tennis balls. Compare. Will has one fewer tennis ball than Ryan. Two is one fewer than three. Ava has five shirts. Noah has the same number of shirts, which shows how many shirts Noah has. Click your answer. He's going to have the same number. She's got one, two, three, four, five. The five frame is full. So that's also what Noah should have. And here's one, two, three, four, five. And the five frame is full. That's right. Danny has one soccer ball. Madison has one more soccer ball. And Danny. Which shows how many soccer balls Madison has. 
to click your answer. All right, Danny has one. Madison needs to have one more. Well, on this one, she has the same. Oh, right here. She's got one more. She's got one, two. That's right. Olivia has three golf balls. Ethan has one fewer golf ball than Olivia. Which shows how many golf balls Ethan has? Click your answer. All right, here Olivia has one, two, three. On this one, it looks like Ethan has more. On this one, Ethan has one, two, three. That would be the same. But on this one, Ethan just has one, two. So that would be less or fewer. Please answer the question oh. before you click done. Oh no, I forgot to click the answer. There it is. Ethan has one less. He has two. That's right. All right, so we're going to stop on that. And we're going to look at our math page for today. I will go over mine. Wait and let it pull up there. And then after you see my directions and what I'm going to do, then you can work on yours. Make sure it's good and clear for you. All right, the directions say compare the sets of objects. Are there more dolphins than turtles? Are the dolphins and turtles the same? Or are there more turtles? So first we just need to count them to see how many we have. Let's count the dolphins. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna write a five. Make his hat, make his back, make five's tummy round and fat. Let's count our turtles. One, two, three, four, five. And write another five. All right, and then it says, tell a friend what you know about the dolphins and turtles. So if we were here at school, we would just turn to our shoulder partner or our neighbor and tell them what we know. So if you've got a grown up or someone there with you, you can tell them what you know. I know there are five dolphins and there are five turtles, so they are the same. They are the equal or they are the same. I'm gonna lift up that page, turn it, find the apple. It says which set shows the number of bears is the same as the number of cars. So the first thing we need to do is to count the cars. One, two, three, four. There are four cars. We wanna find a group of bears that is the same. So if we have four cars, we need four bears. Now that's one, that's only two, that's not gonna be the same. There's three, one, two, three, four. There's four bears, four cars, Four bears, they are the same, same number. All right, put your finger on the sun. Which bird cage has zero birds? I see birds there. I think that one's empty. There's birds. There. Oh, I found one empty bird cage. There are zero birds in there. By the leaf. Trace this number. That is the number two. Around and back on the railroad track. We have the number two. We need to fill in two spaces on our five frames. One, two. And then we need to find two counters at the bottom of the page. So we have the number two, two counters, and two spaces in the five frame. All right, boys and girls, if you are not working with me, then now you need to get out your math page and do your work.